When drawing with Leonardo AI's real-time canvas, it can be hard to get a really perfectly straight line. However, I can undo up here, and if I hold down Shift, I can actually create a straight line this way, and then release. And then I can continue to create straight lines by holding down Shift and working that way. And this also works with the eraser. And I'm gonna share a bunch of other tips that I've learned playing around with Leonardo AI's real-time canvas. And also, if you wanna change the background color of your image, all you need to do is go to the color picker, click background down here, and you can choose a different background or even make it semi-transparent or even use the color picker to pick a different color. Also, if you choose the select tool here and hit control or command A, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you can actually resize and rotate the things you've drawn. You can also click off, select one individual element and move that around. So if there's something in a drawing that you wanna resize or rotate, you can edit that like its own object pretty easily. I'd also like to add, there are some shortcut keys in here as well. If I hit S, it switches to select. If I hit E, it switches to eraser. If I hit B, it switches to brush. Now, if I quickly drop something like a blue face, I may not like the shape. And I highly recommend using the eraser as a, as a tool for cleaning up the shape of some of the objects you create. On top of that, you can actually create pretty simple circles. If I max out the size of my brush and draw a nice big circle here, I can grab my eraser tool, bring that size down, find the center roughly, and I can create like a nice circle outline. And then of course I can use my select tool to move that around and enlarge it if I need circles on my object. I also recommend experimenting with your own artwork. So if you go to add image, Pick some artwork you've done in the past and pop that onto your canvas. And if at any point while you're working and you want to see what the final result will look like, hit Instant Refine to preview and see how it turns out. Now there is a problem. This is not what is here. So obviously I want to make sure I use a prompt with my image. Now at any point while I'm doing this, I can make changes to my prompt. I can say and adjust my prompt as I go. I can also adjust these settings of the creativity strength. I can even adjust the model as I'm going. And this allows you to see how everything will turn out depending on what you choose. If I find an image I really like, I can just hit normal refine to create a copy of that in my personal feed. And then I can just keep editing. And after finishing this video, I actually came back and you can see the steps that I've saved along the way. Now also, if I want to get rid of something in the image like this text, I can grab my eraser tool, adjust my brush size, and I can actually erase parts of the image. And then if I want to, I can always draw, draw certain areas back in with my brush tool. And if you wanna see what other results you can get with the exact same model and settings, head down here to this little icon next to the prompt bar. And if you want to, you can actually change the seed or even fix it, and it will update. So I can randomize the seed again, and cycle through what the real-time canvas will produce. I can turn on high quality, randomize again, and then hit instant refine to check out my results. Now, apart from just playing with your own artwork, when you add an image, you can also insert your old generations. So you can go through and find something in here to insert if you want to, or you can even go to the community feed and insert one of these images. But I also recommend while you're playing with this, hitting output to input. And then you can actually kind of go down a rabbit hole by continually adding and refreshing. Or you can find an image you want to work with and start to draw over the top of it. And then get a bit of editing happening to those images. Now, if I've got a drawing like this and I want to select some objects, I can only select one at a time, unless I hold down Shift, in which case I can select multiple objects. However, if there's an object I'm having trouble getting to, like this down here, I can draw a box then hold down shift to deselect the items I don't want. And just remember, if you're not finished with something, you can exit the editor at any time. And if you come back at a later date and decide to go back into real-time canvas, your image will still be there along with your settings. And again, we can play with any of these settings as we want to. I would like to add that this is also in the browser. If you download the app for your iPad and have an Apple Pencil or pen, you can actually draw on this and it will work pretty effectively. So those are just a few tips 
I thought can help a lot of people who are still learning their way around real-time Canvas. If you haven't seen my initial get started video, check out the video card on the screen right now. Otherwise, I hope you had a great day. We'll talk to you again soon.